Officer Cavallo, for the record, are you ready to describe your actions in the case of the serial killer, Eugene Burrow? I'd spent a long time observing this man. The first thing I needed to do and wanted to do as a police officer, as a human being, was to protect these women's lives. And it's good to have my little girl with me here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're taking some uh, campaign donations from some pretty sketchy sources this year, Mom. I choose my battles. I behave. Senator Cavallo, Judge Cavallo. I'd like to meet the judge's newest campaign contributor, Eugene Burrow of Intech Security. Honored to meet you, Senator. The first time I met Eugene Burrow was at my mother's campaign fundraiser. I had been following this man and his public profile for over a year. I had seen, in my mind, proof that this man was the man responsible for the deaths of all these women. My pleasure. I felt nauseous. After a few minutes of observing him, I got my feet back on the ground, and I became a detective. And I, all I thought was, how can I get this man? In my country, we appreciate strong women. I say whatever it takes to make our society safer and saner for our children. It's a sad state of affairs when a mother is happy the day her daughter gets her first gun. That's what my goal is never to use it, though. My little girl is going to be chief of police one day. You watch. I'll keep my fingers crossed. The only common thread I could find between all the victims was that they all lived in buildings outfitted with security systems from his surveillance company. I had a hunch that he used his access to the buildings to target his victims. So that day, I hacked into his computer to confirm my hunch and see who else he might be watching. Come on, come on, we're almost there.